Hey folks, Rob and Nathan, and we are Two, two guys, guys in a ride. ride, and we're out here at 2019 SEMA. What do you think so far, Nathan? Well, it is awesome. Yeah, hey, but hey, folks, we got a lot of cool videos coming up for you, so yes, stay tuned. Do. Got one coming right now, but before you do, take a moment, hit that subscribe button, and ring that bell notification. So you never miss a video. What do you say, Nate? Let's, well, let's go, go for, for a ride. ride. All right. Hi guys, uh, this is Nathan with Two Guys in a Ride, and today we're here at SEMA in Las Vegas, and we are with Johnny and Kyle and a 1966 Chevy C10 that they have redone, and it is an amazing truck. For those of you who like pickups, uh, not only are you going to see some amazing things on here, but the engine is also something real neat. But we're gonna we're gonna start. Um, so Johnny, uh, Johnny and Kyle yep. have both been working on this together. Right. So, uh, first of all, you know, Johnny, tell us a little bit about what what your role is and, and like, what's your half? What do you do with the, what's your specialty? So, um, I'm a diesel tech by trade, uh, but I do a lot of mechanical and uh, electrical, so. Okay. Yeah. And then, Kyle, what's your specialty? Um, I'm fabrication and sheet metal. Okay. Um, the, ma the biggest thing we do in my shop is short bed conversions on Chevy trucks and uh, big window swaps and just modern upgrades on old trucks. Okay. So, so just just for our viewers, so this isn't the first truck that you've done. It's the first truck you've done together. Together, correct, correct. Which is nice. These guys are like two peas in a pod. <laughs> they're, they're, it's, it's funny. Okay, so let's let's start up in the front, okay. and let's talk a little bit about this unique engine, yeah. uh, Johnny, because this is not a gas engine. No, no. And most not. pickups we see redone have like an LS1. Correct. Uh, but whatever it is, it's a gas-powered okay. engine. So, um, Johnny, tell us a little bit about this uh, diesel engine. Yeah, so this is the new uh, Cummins uh, R2.8. It's a four-cylinder uh, diesel that Cummins just came out with. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. I mean, that is so unusual to see that diesel. It just sets a truck apart. Now, there, there's another interesting part to this diesel engine because this was a commissioned vehicle. Correct. So tell us why this is sort of, I mean, it's just a unique combination with the owner of the vehicle. So what was the connection there? So the owner of the vehicle is actually a, um, like a cat diesel repairman. He fixes a lot of earth movers and heavy equipment. He's a big diesel guy. And uh, this motor was already on my radar, and then he brought it up to me. We were originally going to do an LS, but once I heard they wanted to do it, we definitely uh, yeah, it was the best route to set it apart from all the other trucks. Oh, and it, it absolutely does. And then, it, but then it, it, it meshes with you know the owner's you know exactly. personality yeah. a little right. bit with what right. he, he he does on a regular basis. Okay, let's move around this way. Okay, so when you got the truck, it was actually pretty much a stock C10, yeah. right? It was lowered. It was okay. So you did a lot of work on the cab because the body had already been. Uh, had a, it, you, it, it, in its original patina. Yes, it's original right? patina everywhere. Just you polish it up. Yep. Did you lacquer it as well, or was that already done? Nope, just polished. Okay, so but you did a lot of work with this cab. So tell us what you did with the cab. So we painted the whole top. Everything that's white on the truck we repainted. We refinished the whole inside. All of these trucks come with a fawn interior. It's like a light tan. Yeah. But we painted it all the original uh, body color to give it a little bit more contrast against like the brown. It. And um, everything in it is modern. It's got all modern style door latches, um, Dakota digital gauges. Um, the, they custom made them for us with a 4,000 RPM tack. Cause the, oh, really? Because of red so lines. On, 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 so it's a custom set of gauges. Yeah. Nice. So it's just to fit with the diesel. And uh, the truck's got a killer stereo system. Uh, Connect Audio uh, did all the fabrication on that. It's all JL. So, so um, Johnny, when, when you wired up all the electronics, right? Right. Right. Yep. So what what are we talking for a stereo system? So um, it's got a set of uh, JL audio components, yep. uh, two 12-inch woofers in the back. Um, it's got a 900-watt app. 
So in a, in such a small cab, it it, it hits really I hard. Say, yeah. I'd like to see what you do in a four door. Yeah. <laughs> Holy buckets. <laughs> That is huge, and uh, you know, the, we'll show you some overlaid pictures here. But the interior is just beautiful. I love. Did, did you do the seats? Uh, TMI made us the seat. We just picked out all the colors for it. I, I then, love uh, that. I love the white center stripe that yeah. uh, pipe that comes out. It just really sets yeah, just we, enough white to. We wanted enough white in there to pop off and kind of tie the whole truck together and bring in the top color. Okay, so the steering wheel was that that way when you got the truck or did you redo that part so that's a new reproduction steering wheel and we painted it white to match the wow the accents on the truck. that is beautiful i absolutely love that and then the contrasting with the chrome exactly on the interior and did you have to get things re-chromed on the inside of it too yeah yeah the seat brackets all the small instrument panels on the dash all the switches and levers and everything wow. that they don't read what a, what a lot of little detail you know to, to, to go through but it makes it so nice when you're in the truck i'm sure for the owner um whenever he gets to have the car back that right, is yeah. you know since yeah. since you still have it yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> all right let's sit back here a little bit and want to talk about the air suspension you, you, you put an air ride suspension kit on here so tell us tell us about that okay it's a uh, got it's a factory chassis that we cut down and shortened to make to accommodate the short bed wheelbase and then it's got portal built front and rear kits and that's uh, that handles all the suspension geometry and the okay. air ride and then AccuAir uh manages the whole air management so, okay oh wow and so, so, it has, so it has ride height sensors because it's safe. you could you know if you load the thing up with a uh, uh, water bottles or whatever in the back right the truck with self level that is really neat i like how you said water bottles <laughs> <laughs> well i'm thinking cakes but you know <laughs> it's just me water bottles. <clears throat> so so when the vehicle raises off the ground mm -hmm. full as yeah. far as it goes how high up is it off the ground it's, it's about 12 inches higher than it is now. oh wow yeah, so yeah. it's a it's a serious wow that's a yeah. lot yeah it's about 12 Holy buckets. and and uh what did you do for tires and rims were those on there already when you no so what you, tell us about those so it's got a curry nine inch and then it's got 22 by 12 us mags and the centers of them are concave center so it gives a little, little bit more depth okay. what what's what size tires are those again? It's a little skinny. It's a, it's a 315, 25. I'm not sure 22. I can tell the difference between yeah. the, the rim and the carpet. Yeah. <laughs> I think you got a little black piece of trim around the yeah. back. Yeah. That's just awesome looking. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay, so let's talk about the bed a little bit because you shortened this bed. Yes, this truck was a long bed and it was a small window. Um, we took the bed apart at all of its factory seams and spot welds and then reflanged everything and then welded it all back together. So the only real sign that it's uh, not a real short bed is it's missing stake pockets on the front and the back. But we didn't touch up any paint on there. No, I, I just I love how they left that patina on there. That just looks really good. And then you said you just had a, just had a small window in the rear? Yes, yeah, I had a small window. So we replaced all the inner structure and then cut it out and now it fits a factory big window glass. Okay. So, so when you to replace that glass, there was a factory option that came with that large That's glass. Correct. So, did you have to source another vehicle to get that glass, or can you find an aftermarket? Uh, aftermarket provides. Okay, that provides that. Wow, that is just. I, I, I absolutely love it. Tell us a little bit about the inside of the pickup here because it, I had to look at it really closely. I was trying to tell if it was wood or plastic because it's been painted so carefully yeah. that you almost don't see the grains. Yeah, so a buddy of mine, he owns like a high-end cabinet shop and so it's like furniture grade uh, finish on there. Okay. The, uh, the chrome strips, you know, I've seen in other, other pickups, Dodge for whatever, um, they come, you know, there's a kit you can buy, an aftermarket kit yeah. that, that you put in. Is that what this is, or these are original? No, this is all from RK. Okay. Um, they made like, the bed, uh, all the side trim, and then all the strips. And it actually has all the hidden fasteners. So normally these trucks would have a, a button head. Yeah. And then now it's all... It's all reverse. reverse. So you don't see the, yep. the, the rivets. Yep. Which I, I, I like. I've seen that. I had another guy do a custom truck, and he did the same thing on his own, but he... He took it all apart after a couple yeah. years and did all the, yeah, from the bottom. I just think that makes such a nice look. So, fueler cap? Fuel fillers here in the bed because we moved the tank to the back of the truck. And then we had a powder coated green for diesel fuel only. <laughs> I was going to say, <laughs> I, 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 that, that makes a lot of sense right there. So you don't have to take out the car the first day and go, shoot, you guys don't have another diesel, do you? <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so... You know, viewers might notice that it has the original gasoline yeah, cap, correct? But you've got the fueler tank for the diesel in the rear, correct? So, was there a purpose in leaving that on the car? Yeah. So we actually have an electrical panel uh, behind this 
you know behind oh, wow. this pocket so and what's what it is here is you take this off and you have a battery tender so if the truck you know if the truck right. sits over winter or whatever right. you can plug it in and it'll maintain the battery so you don't have to take your battery out don't take, oh that is just sweet <laughs> i want one of those in my car i love that all right so giant you've done all the wiring on the car okay so let's talk about i mean we, we've looked talked about the the uh dakota digital dash yeah uh, but let's talk about the lighting on the outside yeah so this is uh this is the latest from united pacific uh it's actually a sequential uh led oh, yeah. i saw that that is so cool because yeah. each row then exactly yeah so yeah so we got actually the bezels and the and the actual uh led tail light from united pacific um you know along with they also did the front and rear bumpers okay bumper bolts all the you know window cranks all the the uh the accessories they offer are on this truck oh wow i that i, I love these lights now uh these are led Correct. are the backup lights led or the incandescent uh they're they're incandescent for okay. now yeah yeah all right so in the front here you've got the classic look correct but they're not the uh the what would have been lucas uh, lucas lights on this i'm not sure <laughs> yeah, they, the only way you'd know if there are lucas lights is there's a lot of smoke coming out of them <laughs> right so tell tell us what these are yeah so this is a, a seven inch led uh headlight from okay. united pacific um it has this one has that led light bar so you know when you turn on your uh your parking lights right just the bar comes on but then you know full headlight is you know it's oh, brighter than any factory light out there you know? oh it's got to be really bright i mean just that yeah. strip is i mean yeah. that's very yeah. visible exactly. and then where, where about what about the blinkers the indicators are they so underneath that is that so the, color? so the blinker is actually on these is on the hood oh yeah that's yeah. right it's up here so this is united's uh trim bezel. i'm looking down here i didn't look up here <laughs> This is their yeah. This is their trim bezel, as well as their uh, LED uh, parking light. That's just the, the, these are not sequential on the front. No, no, they're not. Okay, they they're don't make not. those ones yet. Okay. And we also did. I'm sure you'll notice. Uh, we United Pacific also has rock lights, which is a small LED, and it's it has an app that controls all the colors of the lights. Yeah. So that's what you see is lighting underneath up the, it. Yeah, the wheels, and we put we put one under underneath the hood. Underneath the and, hood. And, so. and, and, and it looks so nice. I, I love just the little glow. Yeah. That it gives it, and yet you don't see a source of light. Yeah. <laughs> which, which I think is, you know, kudos on finding cool. a spot to hide that. Yeah. You know, where we, you didn't, the customers didn't see it. And it's also on your wheels. Yeah. Yeah. So each of the wheel rims is lit up, but yet exactly. you don't see. Exactly. It's just sort of that glow. So you've done a, I think, a really nice job of, of hiding that. Yeah. Uh, oh man, what what an absolute beautiful truck. And I, I mean, I just I love everything about the, what you've done with it. The fact that it's a diesel. Yeah. The fact that it's a pickup. Yeah. And, and the fact that, you, that you, the C10 is kind of your, you know, that's kind of your truck of choice if yep. you're going to refurbish a truck. Yep. Okay, so uh, wrapping it up here, Johnny and Kyle, I just want to mention that Metalox is the name of the company that Johnny and Kyle have that have to produce this pickup. Correct. Correct. And uh, so want to put that out there in case you're looking for a customized truck, you know where to contact. And um, so I got one last question for you, and you can answer it separately, but is what's your, what's your favorite thing about this truck? I'd have to say how the engine bay, just how clean it is, and the install looks like it belongs and it does. out of place. It's beautiful. And we really I, took our time shaving the firewall and making everything look clean and just make the motor the highlight of the... You can tell there's a lot of care. I mean, I mean, everything is just immaculate on this truck. Yeah. Johnny, what about you? What's your favorite thing? Um, you know what? I'll, I'll go. Since Kyle took the motor, I'll do the... Uh, I, I like the way the interior came out. Yeah. Yeah. You know, how, how uh, the seats, door panels, everything tied together. Stereo, so... That's, that's probably my favorite part, yeah. Oh, and and that, that interior is just, I mean, it's stunning. I just love the, all the contrast, the white, and then the, the, the seat inserts, you know, they're they're different from the rest of the seat, yeah. and it's just enough of a difference in there, and it ties in color-wise, so beautiful job. Guys, thank hey, you thank so you. much for your time. Uh, giving yeah, us the time you. to talk with you. Thank you. Love the pickup. Thank, thank you. you. All right, thanks, guys.